Uh, hi guys. Um, right, yeah, just want your help really. Um, obviously, this is the the Viterra. Uh, the, this is the uh, GTR. This was the GTR, but the Nissimo one with the big wing, blue. Um, hell of a lot more money. Don't know why. Hundred and I think this was hundred and twenty, about hundred and twenty quid. Hundred and sixty. 70 quid or something, but you take them off, take shells off, they're no different inside, absolutely identical, apart from front splitter, rear diffuser. But as for the wheels, wheels are all the same size, different, they're all the same size widths. Width. So I don't really know why you're paying all that money just for an extra splitter and diffuser. So, yeah, that's one gripe with it. Um, right, for the for you lot out there, if you could help us out. Um, I bought a, 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 the upgrade to hold the motor on. It's a metal thing that drops in there. I bought one of them. I'm not very good. I'm not very technical with these kind of things. Do I leave some planes mainly. But, you know, the girls wanted to get into cars, so I thought we'd go into cars. Or I'd go back into them for a bit. Um, yeah. I don't mind this car, I quite like it, uh, it's a few, I mean obviously there's got to be some changes to be done to it. Um, I do believe there's a, a brushless version out there which is even more silly money. Um, and I've had a look into that, And I, but like you say, you look on things on YouTube and you keep looking, you keep looking and then you lose things and then, I don't know, you find links and a link to this and then all of a sudden you can't find it anymore. Um, so, yeah, like I say, there's a, a brushless setup on this. They do do a brushless one, so I looked into it, and yeah, they these are all metal, so obviously I'm replay I'm upgrading with all these for the metal ones that the brushless system has, um, even a metal centre drive shaft. Um, but the part I'm looking for is where the sh the shaft goes in. I don't know what you call them, output shaft. I don't know what these are that go into the front and rear discs. I don't know what these are. I don't know what you call them, but I'm trying to find a part number on them, and I can't. But I'm led to believe that the brushless system one, the brushless one, they're metal, and I can't find any. And I've even asked my uh, local model shop, uh, and uh, they said if we can get a part number, yeah, they'll be able to sort it out for me. Um, but I can't find one. I have tried ringing the bloody shop. I've even got the number, but I was on hold and hold and hold, and I got disconnected. And oh god, I, you know, I got fed up with it. It's like talking to Hobby King on their live chat. <laughs> Pointless. <laughs> so, if anyone could help me out, I mean, um, obviously, uh, there's a few upgrades I'm going to do to it. Obviously, these shocks are crap. I mean, I even had to put a small cable tie just just so it wouldn't bottom out because it, it made, basically just bottomed out everywhere. It was awful. I mean, it's not it's not so bad now, but if you, if you touch our raise, it just it just bang. It's awful. So so I have, it's a bit out of focus. It's, I've got my phone fixed, you see, guys, and it's sometimes it's playing up. Um, so that's another hundred and forty quid. Seems to be a waste of bloody money because. It hasn't fixed my phone. So, yeah. Um, that is what I'm looking for. I don't know what you call them. If anyone could let me know what you call them. Ah, outpush shafts, deeps, I don't know. Diffs. I don't know. What, I, I, don't, I can't remember. I just, I've got no idea. So, yeah. I've got some metal upgrades coming out. I mean, I'll show you them all once, once I've got them all here. And obviously put them all in. And let you guys see. The phone's going dicky again. Um, and let you guys have a view. But... Um, yeah, because I'm going to make it brushless. It's uh, it has to be done. Um, and I'm not too sure whether I'm going to. The thing is, if I keep the front splitter, I don't have to change my body holes, which is great. But if I lose the front splitter, I have to change my body holes, and I don't really want to be putting any more holes in it. Um, I'm just been using a rubber band on. On so high, 
just dwelt back end on because uh, obviously I don't really want to put any more holes in it so I'm going to have to find a way of uh, holding it back end down so and I haven't quite finished it I've still got the back end to do I'm going to do something a little bit different to what a normal escort would have Uh, and that's just my little sticker reminder because that's what I'm going to go for them, some XD shocks for it hence why I need to change the uh, front carrier that holds the shocks for a rear one so it so they'll fit um, but so yeah I, I'm, getting, I'm quite happy with it um, like I say it's uh, brushed at the moment it was running on NICAD battery when I raced, uh, when the Dean, well, I really wanted a race, sorry. And she absolutely trashed me. So we had another race and I put a lipo in it. And she still trashed me. Not by much, but she still trashed me. So I've got a feeling that's because she's been running that a little bit longer. And that's bedded in. So what I'm thinking is, I might pop the motor out. Drop it in some water and run it for... 15, 20 minutes, so I'm led to believe some, uh, someone did men, uh, say some, uh, mention it on their Google Plus to me. Uh, so I'm going to give that a go and see what kind of difference it makes. Um, if she's still slower, then obviously it's it's because of the shape of the car, obviously. Drag. Um, uh, so then I'm going to try it with the, the Nissimo one, shell on and see what sort of difference it runs compared to that one. Because, uh, like I say, the Nissimo shell, it's all blue, it's identical to that. You'll have seen it on, the people have seen it, you've all seen it. But, like I say, it's a lot more, more money than that one. But if that's the case, that one's cheaper, it's identical, and it's faster. So, anyway. So, yeah, if uh, anyone can find out me a part number... Because I, I have been struggling, guys, really struggling. And uh, I've been struggling with a lot of blimmin' things lately. Trying to get our Kim's heli, kids. My dad's had two strokes, so I've been backwards and forwards in hospital. So it's all been a bit of a nightmare. Now I'm lumbered with the dogs for a week because mum's decided to go away. Um, just doing a few bits on sawback as well. So while I've got time. I'm going to try and get a few hours sleep later on this afternoon and then go back to the joys of uh, the graveyard shift working. So, Which I spend most of the time sat in my ass on my phone because it's so bloody boring. Um, right then guys, so... If you can help us out with uh, finding some of them, whatever they are, because that's the, the plastic drive shaft. But when you run the car and if you put a... When you run the car, it, it it starts to dance around like a skipping rope when you you're giving it some. So obviously I'm gonna have to change it out. But I just don't fancy them being plastic. And like I say, the brushless one, I'm I'm led to believe the brushless one comes with metal output shafts. I don't even know what you call them. So if you guys could let us know, that'd be grand. So that's my quick vid. Uh, so. Quick shout out, FPV vids, Jack. Cheers on the cover. Didn't expect you to do that, pal, so cheers very much. And uh, cheers everyone for your comments. And uh, obviously for me, Rich, Yorkshire, Escort, and Trev and Kev. That's Trev and Kev, obviously. Yeah. It's a bit of a personal joke. And uh, obviously, we won't go with the dogs. But from me, Rich, Yorkshire, peace. Cheers, guys.